Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, I'm going to be reviewing another old movie, of course, since I will often review movies from the past. Yes, the one called My F Favorite Burnett. It's a comedy, and as I said before, folks, I don't review comedies that often, really. So I just figured I would re review one of these that actually stars a pretty well-known actor in here, folks. Because why not? Yes, it's one of those movies that I don't think a whole lot of people actually bring up. But that's okay. It's part of my job anyway on YouTube, in the sense, I guess. I'm supposed to be bringing up movies that hardly ever get brought up, if anything at all, I guess. Yeah, they bought the DVD of it, of course, as you can see. So I figured I'd just review it because I recently saw this movie. And yeah, it's quite an oldie. A really old movie, yes, sir, folks. Yeah. It reminds me of the good old days when movies were much better. So, anyway, folks, as usual, I have to talk about the plot of it. So, let's get into it. Shall we? Yes, sir. So, the story of this film is told through a flashback from the death row as this character relates to a group of reporters the events that led to his murder convention. The character I'm referring to is, of course, a character named Jackson, and he is this San Francisco individual who takes pictures and dreams of being a real private detective like his office neighbor Sam. One day he is mistaken for a, a detective by this mysterious woman in distress and this woman in distress whom claims that her wheelchair bound husband was kidnapped at the pier as they had went to from overseas they just arrived and there was like this sinister figure whom listens at the office so this woman gives our main character her address and a coed map of course but obviously our main character here Jackson hides the map within the cups next to his office cooler so our main character then drives to the said address, which is located in a mansion in a certain area. So let's just say soon he is, greet he is greeted at the door, lifting his gun. So let's just say that the woman tells Jackson that the missing man is her uncle, not her husband. So yeah, there's some things. Like get pretty crazy in this movie. So, it's trying to have like a detective kind of thing going on in a way. To mix elements of a detective thing and a sense of comedy, so to speak. Maybe with, with a bit of drama thrown in there for good measure, of course. Which is fine, of course, you're going to mix things up a bit, obviously. So anyway, like I was saying, our main character here. Enter the missing person, so to speak, had entered the country on some secret mission that the woman explains, and the mansion belongs to this mayor, this individual, she also explains, who was a former partner of her uncle. So let's just say that things do become rather wild and crazy, so to speak. So anyway, yeah, I'm not going to spark too much, really, because all I'm going to really say is that this film is actually pretty good. Solid acting and solid budget, so to speak. Yeah, it's pretty cheaply made, folks, and that's the thing. I know on my YouTube channel, I'm, I'm usually reviewing cheaply made old films anyway. I've always done that, and I plan to continue to, to do that even more. So, I was going to say that this is definitely... 
not a bad thing. No sorry. I can say that this film definitely has its own charm. I did like the overall aspect of the story. The characters are pretty cool, and I can say that there's definitely something of charming to to this. And of course, I can say that yeah, this film has a decent quality. The DVD itself isn't too bad, of course. So I can honestly say that I wouldn't, you know, I would say it's bad because it's actually quite enjoyable. So. I would say that I'll give this one another chance, or maybe I'll give it another watch these days. And again, like I said a moment ago, I I didn't I don't review comedy type movies that often. And there's a few decent comedic scenes here and there. And overall the act is good with a wonderful supporting cast of characters. They also do a pretty solid job as well. So overall a solid movie. It's pretty delightful in its own little way. I like the way it looks. And the dialogue isn't too bad, I suppose. I can say the script itself is pretty solid. There's a good beginning and middle and end. There was no sense of being dragged or whatever. So, I never got bored. I really do. Yes, I know not a lot of people out there are interested in seeing old movies like this. But hey. I like, I like digging into the past. Yes, sorry folks, I sure do. And again, I would definitely recommend this, so give this movie a chance. If you haven't seen it already. And yeah. Yes, sorry folks. There's not much else I can say of that. It's definitely worth watching. It would get an overall rating of a 7.5 out of 10. It's a 7.5 out of 10 for me. And of course, as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Until next time. Oh yeah.